Good afternoon. A pair of New Mexico Military Institute football players are accused of beating one of their teammates. They told police they did it because the victim exposed something they had allegedly done. Here's News 13's Emily Younger with more. Kim, according to court documents, these two football players, including a star quarterback for the junior college team, attacked a fellow cadet. They're both facing charges, and we wanted to know how the school was handling it. The New Mexico Military Institute prides itself on its honor code. They instill key values into their cadets and athletes. One, two, three. Go! But two NIMI football players, standout junior college quarterback Michael Ajakuko and high school lineman Chance Butler, are accused of breaking that code. According to a criminal complaint, the two planned to beat up a teammate because he snitched on them for smoking pot. Police say Ajakuko and Butler originally schemed to lure the victim into a bathroom and do it. Instead, police say Butler dressed in all black, covered his face with a, quote, ninja-style mask, then went to the victim's dorm room. Police say Butler pushed the 16-year-old to the ground and repeatedly punched him in the face, back, and shoulders while the boy yelled for help. Investigators say Ajakuko wanted Butler to throw the punches because he's a minor and wouldn't get in as much trouble. Butler's charged with aggravated assault. Ajakuko is charged with helping him. Hi, this is Emily Younger with Channel 13. We tried calling four different NIMI workers to find out how the school punished the students, but they only sent us this statement. When something like this occurs, the local authorities are immediately called in and the cadets are handled as they should be if crimes were committed. So we looked up the Institute's Cadet Code of Conduct. Both could be suspended or kicked out of the school for what they're accused of doing. We asked the Institute if the two boys are still enrolled in part of the football team. They wouldn't tell us. Kim. Okay, thanks, Emily. Now the victim, who is a starter for the NIMI High School football team, reportedly spent several days in the school's infirmary because of his injuries. Police have.